Hi there, it's Pascal here. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the habit of saving. Now, if you don't know me, my name is Pascal. I started my online business in 2017. So I started sharing my, ever since I started sharing my journey and how I started making money online, people reach out to me and ask me several questions about what does it really take and you know, these basic questions that most people have when they start businesses online. So this one it has prompted up to me, um, asked me a question and say, and there's a lady that contacted me and said she doesn't have money to invest in, 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 in a pro in, to start a business, basically to change her life. Now, is that a problem to me? Now I understand that is not the problem most people have. I've got a student now who I'm mentoring, who is successful now, one of my success team members. Um, she just sent me a message now. And I remember when she started, she said the same thing. I didn't, I don't have money, but she gained the confidence. And now she sent me a message literally like a couple of minutes ago saying, and um, Pascal, I can't believe this. Um, it's so crazy that she's making sales online now. So um, it's just a way we we look at life and the way we look at things. So if you're looking to start a business online and you're in that phase, you don't understand the importance of investing in yourself, um, especially in this particular times that we are in. Because anybody that is going to survive this period has to be, has to invest in themselves. You can't, we can't carry the same behavior we had before um, this incident that is happening globally and carry it through this um, period and expect to come out on the other side better. That would be, um, um, I think I, Einstein said something, um, insanity is doing the same thing in the same way you expect something different to happen. It's not going to happen. So when when you, I want to help, I want to help you if you, in that state that you, you're saying to yourself you don't have money. There's a skill of, one of the skills of running a business is being resourceful. It's your ability to make, um, solve problems, um, be, find ways and solutions to ideas, um, to really come out of a particular challenge that you may have. Now, you have to, what I want you to understand is, I don't, when you say I don't have money, or that shuts off the, the thinking thoughts, you can't think. You have to start opening your mind to say, how can I raise money? then that act triggers your brain to begin to ask your your subconscious mind where can you raise money from that everybody's circumstance is going to be different um so you will have an idea once you ask yourself where can i raise money from your brain will tell you where to get the money from so now you now have a responsibility to trust yourself this is a very self confidence that's what and follow that intuition that you got from your mind and go and get that money at that place. So that's just um, the difference between people that say, I don't have money and I do. Because this lady now that is making money, that is making sales online now, that's part of the success team. Um, she's not, she doesn't have any special skills. She, 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 English is not her first language. She, she, in fact, she doesn't even want, want to come out publicly, but she's doing it quietly behind the scene. So you don't have to be on YouTube like I am. So, but what another thing I want to address um, when you say you don't have, um, when someone says they don't have money to start a business. Now, I want you to understand that what makes people not to have money or run out of money is a habit. Um, it's not the, I don't have money is the problem. It's the habit that the person has. Like me, for instance, when I started, I launched my first business. Um, I... I had I was in this aggressive mode of spend more, spend more to make more, make more, and I end up spending more than I was making. So I ran myself into without putting money away. You understand? Without putting money away. So later on, I went to my one of my mentors and all that. He started explaining to me: no matter what, how business, whether it's going up or whether it's coming down, I have to find a way to create a habit to put a percentage to one side. So. If you, that's the solution to that because every business is going to come up to, business is not always up. So you should be able to find ways, whether you're in a salary or in a job, whatever you're earning, there's a habit that you have. Maybe we spend more than we earn. So that's the problem. It's not that you don't have money. It's the problem. It's a habit that is taking away all your money that you need to identify within yourself. What? Why do I spend so much? 
when I earn less. So you you discipline yourself. That's another word that comes in into that. You have to discipline yourself to cut down your expenses every here and there in order for you to be able to put a little bit of percentage of your money to one side with discipline. Now, get this. I'm not saying that putting away um, one pound or 20 pounds or 300 pounds every single month is going to make you successful. That's not what I'm saying. But the habit of doing that, it doesn't matter even if it's a pound or 50p. Just the habit of disciplining yourself to put money aside, that's the habit that will get you successful. It's not the money. Because the reason most people don't, it's just that I always, it's habit. When I understood these things, they are literally in kind of in our face. Um, we don't need somebody to explain it to us, but it's something that we just don't do. So we see ourselves in a situation where we're not supposed to be, especially um, most people. It could be a mother um, with kids and you don't have extra um, savings on, on your own to support yourself. It's a tough place to be in. So and you, you got to find a way to to come out of it. And that's what I'm exactly saying to you here. Because there, there's always opportunities online. There's always opportunities to and scale your income there's always opportunities in crypto there's always opportunities on start a business online there's opportunities to join real estate but if you don't have that habit of putting some penny or dollars on one side um then these opportunities will always come in front of you but you can't grab them because you don't have the habit of putting money to one side that's just the key um, nobody starts business when they have all the money we all start when we are broke. So you have to figure your way out because there is always a way out. There's there's always, there's something that you can do now to raise money. It's just, will you do it? That's the difference. And that's why they say some people are um, 5% succeed and 95% um, don't. It's just that 95% will not do anything. They'll be waiting on blaming other people for their um, for their situation. But I've come to the realization myself now to understand that whatever that is going on, you have to take responsibility for it. Whether it's in your business, in your relationship, in your marriage, in your health, whatever area is in your life, you have to take responsibility for it. And that comes from disciplining yourself. And you develop this small, small habit by saving, putting 10%, 5%, 3%. It doesn't really matter. Just to one side and you will be able to um, grab opportunities and surround yourself with people that will support you as well. That's another key element that will support you to continue in this good habit. And eventually, get this, within a very short period of time, if you look back, if you just start this little practice, you will look back within a short period and see how far you've come. And you now understand these things that we should have been doing it a long time ago. So it's something that we, people pay thousands and thousands to join courses to learn these basic things. That's what they basically teach. But if you, that's why if there's a lot of information online. Information is not the problem. How to lose weight is not the problem. How to save money, you can Google. How to start it, you can Google. It. But people lack these simple elements of discipline to implement what they see. Implement what they learn. And those that implement these things, they get the phenomenal results. And it comes from investing in yourself. You have to really understand that part as well. Because <clears throat> we can't be running on old program. If we keep running on old program, basically you get the same thing that we always had. So if in order for you to change your life in any way, you have to be willing to do something you've not done before. So to get out of debt, anything, you got to push through. Somehow, ask yourself, how can I raise money? Like for me now, if I need money, my, my first thing my brain tells me go to the bank. I said, all right, let's go to the bank and ask. It doesn't matter. I'll just walk there and see. I've got good credit and I ask. They can say yes, they will process it and they give it to you within 24 hours. Um, it, it depends on who you, you can, my brain can tell me sell something in your house. Then I'll, I'll, tell, I'll make arrangements and dispose that thing and sell it. And so I put some money back into my pocket. At the end of the day, it's just taking action taking action without thinking of what somebody else will think about you and it comes from fear of criticism what some people will say if i don't pay what people will say if i don't if they don't give me the money if i don't if they see me doing this 
and you got to face those fears at some point apart from that that's what i want to share with you so it's the same thing that i shared with this lady that is part of the success team now um that she <clears throat> excuse me that she has um she has started making sales now if i hadn't encouraged her to invest in herself in the beginning now where would she have been but now she's the one sending me messages like i'm so excited this is crazy i'm making sales online thank you very much and that's the reason i do what i do because it's it's, it's just the sheer passion that i see people's life change every single day and i hope yours will change the same from you taking action apart from that i'll see you on the next video take care bye, -bye.